little spatula fish and today I'm transferring my goldfish and his friends from a 20 gallon into a 55 gallon. So here is the 55 gallon. It has been washed out with vinegar and hot water. Make sure not to use soap when you're washing anything for fish because it could harm them and any other living things you put in the tank. So um, good rule of thumb is vinegar and hot water. So we're filling up the tank here with uh, room temperature water, uh, same as the 20 gallon because it is a goldfish tank so it is a cold water tank so it just stays room temperature whatever that may be because they can go into warmer water and colder water. I also moved over the plants that were in the 20 gallon that they come in. Goldfish is also with a Rasbora and a Zebra Daniel which both of their schools um, died so they're the last ones living but they have been doing just fine together. The Rasbora has been by himself without a school for over a year now. So they're doing good and I'm not planning to keep them the species right now so that's why I'm not getting them a bigger school but they're doing fine. They don't seem too stressed out. And so now I've got to add the filtration, same filtration that was in the 20 gallon, which is approximately 30 to 40 gallons of filtration. Um, so that should be just fine, because it's going to be the same fish going into the 55 gallon. I also trimmed up the plants. The Amazon sword has actually been propagating and making new plants, so we cut off the new plants so we could put them separately so there will be multiple Amazon swords in the tank. And so we attached all the plants that were not previously attached to driftwood or something, attached them to rocks, which is rubber bands, um, so that they will sink to the bottom because this is going to be a bare bottom tank for the time being until I decide if I want to put substrate in it. And so the plants that are in here are the Amazon swords, this is the banana plant that I just showed and some java fern. So now it's just time to escape the tank, make it look however I feel it should. Yeah, there's the banana plant. I really like this plant because it has leaves at the bottom but it also sends up shoots to the top of the water. So there's leaves also on the top of the water. It's quite nice. And I have not had trouble with my goldfish eating the plants in this tank so far. So here it is, got the filtration in there and everything, so now it's time to add the fish in. They've just been sitting in this bucket with an air stone. I'm going to move the goldfish over just with hand, um, just to give the full support of the body. And yeah, the goldfish and like koi and stuff do just fine with hand instead of net. But we'll go ahead and net out the zebra danio and the rasbora. So here's the zebra danio. Zebra danios are actually also cold water fish, just like goldfish. And here's the rasbora. All right. So the next day. A couple days later, I decided I didn't like where the tank was placed, so instead of doing a water change, since the fish just got moved in here and the good bacteria hasn't been able to propagate, I just emptied out the water they currently have into buckets and the old 20 gallon tank and everything, so that I could move it over with little water in it, because it was just being in the same room, just moved. Um, so this I found was the easiest way to not do a water change, but to move the fish. Uh, move the whole tank over. So there's Spartan enjoying his new home. He really enjoyed all the space and everything. And he came in, even came over to the side of the tank where the bed used to be and said hello to me in the morning like he used to in the 20 gallon. So it was cute. Another cool thing about this tank setup right here is that it is bare bottom and there's not a complete cover on the bottom so you can see under the fish. 
So I thought I'd just share this with you, because you don't normally get to see fish from below. So here's a goldfish from below. If you can spot the zebradania on the rasbora. Yeah, there's a zebradania. Then, yeah. Kind of cool. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please like, subscribe. Let me know the videos you'd like to see. And that should be about it. So thanks for watching. Bye!